Hello and welcome to a new video about my board balancer. Well, last time we used this little device here, this little uh, laser, laser uh, distance measurement device. Yeah? And I said I have to somehow redesign this stuff here. Yeah? That we are not using, that we are not using this ultrasonic distance measurement because this turned out to be not that wonderful yeah so i made a redesign you know, from this side it looks pretty pretty much the same yeah? however it's much smaller and i have a little hole here for the laser distance measurement and well it should fit here and it fits here quite perfect yeah? and you can screw it in there, I have everywhere this melting threads and so on, so this should work hopefully and from the other side it will look like that, there is the sensor inside, yeah, this is the idea, yeah, so that we measure, I already produced the second one and I already mounted it, this is how it looks when it's mounted, yeah, you see there is the laser distance measurement inside and there is, there is the label. Here on the other side, I still have, I still have this, but here on this side, I'm ready for a test. All right. So I'm gonna test now this laser distance measurement. Everything is firmly in place. Luckily, we are have, where do I have it? The second one here. Lucky I have the second one here. Because now I really don't know in which order. Okay. So here, here the first one is voltage in, then we have ground, all right, then we have SCL, and I also would use the last one here, this X shot, I will plug it in there. Right now I will use simply I will simply plug it in. Yeah? I will not use it because I'm going to use the same program as last time I've used here. Yeah? So, and I will then, because actually what I want to do is that I want this to be here. So we have here plus and minus. Zack, zack. Then we have SCL and STD. Plus, minus, SCL, STD. And we have this trigger. All right, that's this. Yeah. And now I'm just going to get this over here. Plus, Plus 5 volt, minus, minus 5 volt, ah, minus 5 volt ground, of course. So power supply is ready. Power supply is ready. Then we'll have SCL, green to green, S STD, <laughs> SDA, yellow to yellow. It's not green to green. Yeah, yeah. All right, another power supply as well. Good. So that's actually it. Yeah, this is the hardware setup. Plus and minus to plus and minus to plus and minus to the sensor. Uh, SCL and STD to the sensor. And this one right now it's not connected. I agree. We have to use it once we want to use more than more than one and now we should already measure the distance yeah. let's see if this is really the case all right so at the computer let's have a look who's a serial block serial monitor let's first open the serial monitor then we should see some messages yes 55 55 all right, where's the ball? Here's the ball. Make it a little bit 
to the right. 30 centimeters. Hey, this is looking good. Okay, now I'm eager to know because right now there is a distance between centimeter and, and the value, so I should be able to use the serial plotter. Let's have a look at the serial plotter. Yes, there is a value. Does not look too smooth. I will move it one time in this direction, another time in this direction. Okay, it's very chitter, chittery, but at least it looks like a measurement. Looking good, I must say. The closer I am to the sensor, the better, the more stable is the is the result. Right in the middle. All right. All right, okay, so this now looks like a measurement. So I'm satisfied with this. I'm satisfied with this. Um, maybe let's tweak a little bit. Let's tweak a little bit the code. Uh, because actually what we want to do, uh, let's see, this echo pin and stuff, this I don't need anymore. I don't need this. Uh, hmm. Because actually, I want to have a second one that I measure from the, from the left side and from the right side. So I want to have this two times. Uh, so I will this get duration. I also don't need this. I don't need unit laser distance. This distance laser laser. I will write a new. New function which will, which will do this yeah? because you know the problem is if you're using two, they are they are on one bus, okay? So they are on one bus. So we need to give this thing an address. Yeah? In order to give this thing an address, we have to start it with simply move this up here, yeah? and I will. Uh, say uh, define address left shall be 0 x27 and define address right shall be 0 x28. Okay, this, this shall be the, the addresses. And then if both are on the bus, yeah, we have to turn them on one by one. Okay, first turn on one, give this an address, then turn on the second and give this an address or leave the default address at the second, doesn't really matter. The default address is 29. Okay, and if you turn on both, I have 29 there on both, so nobody knows. We, there cannot be two devices with the same address on the same bus. So actually, uh, I have to turn them off and this is why I connected this uh, this uh, call this thing? X shut. With this X shut, you can shut it down. Yeah? With putting there zero, zero is shutting it down, and putting nothing is shutting it. Is is starting it. Yeah? So uh, I will say the left. Define how how do how do call this uh, uh, left shutdown pin this shall be fear for fear <laughs> I fear for fear is false <laughs> right the right shutdown pin shall be five okay good uh, I will first in it I will first make all reset uh, I will the pin mode Left shutdown pin is an output. Right shutdown pin is an output. Digital right. Left shutdown pin low. And right shutdown pin also low. Okay, then we make a delay of 10. 
then we are sure we are turned off. I will turn him off here as well. So just make this everything in here. This is maybe more appropriate. And here we'll just call this init init laser sensors. Good. So now everything is turned off. Then I will restart both again. And for restart I have to put out nothing. I'm I should not put out high, because if I put out high there will be 5 volts. I'm not sure. There, I read in the documentation, ooh, it has a pull up resistor inside there, so it will pull up this uh, X shot by its own. So the only thing I have to do is I have to allow the pull up. Yeah? And this I'm doing by setting simply the pin mode to input. Then the input, then the, the pins can be just something. Yeah? and they will be pulled up. So right now they are rebooting. Yeah? Then I will delay again 10 seconds. Yeah? And now I will uh, init right time of flight sensor. Uh, init. I will print this out. Right sensor. And now I will turn off the left one. So I will use here this now the left one is turned off and now I can start Ooh, I will make it like this stand laser right is now at the beginning I will I will use pointers uh, laser right because I'm starting now with the right because the right hand side uh, equals new other fruit feel this one and now laser right begin and now to give this sensor the reachable sensor now an address I have to set the address and now it should be 28 all right now it should be 28 and if this is not correct yeah I will write error else I'll write that Right, now I have to wait again. Delay 10. The left one I will do afterwards. Ah, if I'm sure that this is working. Alright, and now if how's it called? Laser laser right. If not now. So this means we have adjusted something. Yeah? This one I no longer need. I think this should be sufficient. Okay, now it should exactly the same way, work exactly the same way. However, uh, it should be with another address. Yeah? Let's see which address we have got now. Here I have this I2D scanner. I will upload this now to, to my board and we, we should see actually that we find an, an something at 29 or 29 hexadecimal. Let's see, zero monitor, 29, 0x29. All right, this is working. Close this. And now I will upload this sketch. After uploading this sketch, we should see this work pretty well. Right sensor done. Oh look, it's working, working as before. All right, so do we have another address? Do we have really another address? Let's see if this worked. Okay, already uploaded. 28, yeah, this worked. The right sensor has 28. Good, good, this worked. Ah, but there is still missing here. Maybe it does not work. I'm not sure because I have to connect it. The right, the right pin, the right pin is five. So I've connected this to five. Good. I will also plug in the other sensor, and now it makes sense that I put this here exactly the way I put it because I will 
place it simply here. Then I have a distance measurement here. Hopefully I'm not made oh, can I measure this? Uh, and the X shot from here is going to fall. What have we now, zero monitor? Ooh. 28 and 29. Okay. Reaches both sensors. Both sensors are responding. This is good. This is good. This is good. Ah, uh, okay. So actually, if I upload this once again, it should work exactly as before. Zero centimeters. Right sensor error. Maybe not. Make a delay here. Right sensor down. Okay, maybe it was just too fast. Good. Good. Actually, if I switch here, left and right sensor, four and five, restart this whole stuff, then we should see right sensor down 10 centimeters. <laughs> now it's this sensor. This sensor. Now it's this sensor. This sensor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the switch. So both are working. Both sensors are working. This is also good to know. This is also good to know. Switch it back. Uh, the problem is why I'm also always I turn off. I turn off here now the the power supply because then both sensors would be uh, number one, okay? Uh, would be uh, default address. Every time in power cycle, uh, it's the default address. All right, so this looks good, I must say. Maybe I will write here. Right, if this is the right center. I will make a test now, how long it takes this one measurement. Let's see how long takes a measurement. That we know how long, how often we get with the single shot mode. Oh. With the single shot mode, shot mode, how long it takes. 40, 40, 40 milliseconds. This is pretty long. This is pretty long. I guess I have to look into this. All right, let's do the second. Let's do the second sensor. Actually, I just copy this. Now I turn on the second, second sensor by setting it to input, then delay. Laser left. Create a new instance with a new address. That's it. That's it. And below here, I will also copy this. All right, copy this. Actually, this should now be it. Let's see what is happening. Part open. Right sensor down, left sensor. Stop. Where is it stuck? Okay, this is working. Hi, sensor down. Now it's working. Next command. See which command fails. Actually, it must be this one. Because it's zero print. I should be very clear. I cannot create in another instance of this other thing. Yes, stuck again. But they said this is how it should be. This is exactly how I read how it should work. Right now, it's not working. Go back to a position where it is working. Okay. 
So two sensors are still a problem. But I think with the measurement we can be fine. However, it takes a little bit too long. So next time we have a look into, into this problem to make it a little bit faster. All right? And with the second sensor I also have to it seems like a problem when creating a second instance of this of this object here. Naya! Naya! Alright, but it works much better than with the Hey, see the gains, not the problems. Uh, it works much better than with the ultrasonic measurement. For this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.